Hi everyone. So I would like to focus on introduction to Excel table features. So in maintaining a database in Microsoft Spreadsheet, sobrang importante na i-skip na natin yung mga old method or old school na methods na ginagawa natin in maintaining a spreadsheet or updating a spreadsheet. So before that, I would like to mention about the parts of the Microsoft Excel window muna. And I know a lot of you are familiar na or you are using Microsoft Excel na ng matagal. So review lang tayo because I will be using a lot of terminologies. So I'm using 365, version 365. So paano malalaman kung ano yung version? You go to file, then click account. And then this is the license information. Okay? So this top right here, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, developer, help, acrobat. Yan yung mga menu tabs ninyo. And each tab, meron silang mga ribbon. Ano yung ribbon? Ito yung nasa iba ba? kung saan yung mga commands na available per menu, okay? So, remember that this is the ribbon part, alright? And, uh, sa iba ba ng ribbon, you have here your formula bar, okay? This is very important, and when you're composing a formula, please make it a habit to look at your formula bar. This is your formula bar, and if you click this, you will find a lot of functions here, and then... This is your name box. This is where you will see your cell reference. It's the intersection of your column and row. Okay? So, if I'm here, this is my cursor. And this is a cell. Okay? So, this is my cursor. Alright? So, if I click this, you will see D6. That's D6. Okay? Column D, row 6. So, you have one cell. And if I highlight this one, that's range okay or table array the a b c d here that you see are your column headers so yung mga letters na yan column headers and if i say uh right click your column age you have to right click yung mismong column age okay yung iba kasi ang ginagawa nila if i say column age nila right click nila dito sa cell so kailangan yung mismong column kasi iba yung kalalabasan niya if you are going to right-click your row headers na represented by numbers, so yan ang magiging um, dialog box, okay? And then these are your sheet tabs. If you need to add another sheet, just have to click here. And you have a scroll bar, vertical scroll bar, and horizontal scroll bar. This is your zoom slider, okay? So you can zoom it out and zoom it in, All right? And... Ito na sa iba ba ng mga sheet tabs. This is your status bar. Marami kang makikitang options dyan. Let's say, for example, you will be uh, you will be calculating something. Let's say, if you highlight this, you will see some count and average. Okay? Alright. So, this is your quick launch. Ito na sa taas. Itong color green. And this one is yung title ng file mo. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nakasave siya. If hindi mo nakakita yung book one dyan, it means na nakasave yung file mo. Alright? Okay. So, if you are seeing this white cursor, white cross cursor, that means that you can highlight your cells. You have to be careful kasi baka mamaya iba yung itsura ng cursor mo, mouse pointer mo, and then may ginawa kang action. Okay? So, this is your highlighting or selecting cells um, cursor. Okay? Kailangan white cross siya. So, if you position your cursor or your mouse pointer sa gilid ng cell, you will see na mag-change siya into, a, into an arrow. Tapos meron siyang cross na double-headed arrow. And then, if you click that, it's actually for dragging. Okay? Let's say this one. And then, nasa gilid yung mouse pointer mo. Ayan, that's for dragging. So, if you need to transfer this, ayan. You just need to drag and drop. Okay? So, if you highlight this naman, napos dito ka naman sa handler na to. Okay? So, let me zoom 
Okay? So, if you see that your mouse pointer naging parang plus sign siya na black, that's for autofill naman. If you would like to copy and um, drag the formulas, for example, but I have a separate discussion about that. Okay? So, that's a basic review of the Excel navigation. And um, let's say, for example, you have this set of data. What you would normally do is, let's say you have encoded this. Ang gagawin mo, usually, pina-highlight mo to. I-highlight mo siya. I'm not gonna use some shortcut keys kasi um, hindi mo makikita kung ano yung actions ko. So, highlight natin siya. Tapos yung iba ginagawa nila, naglalagay sila ng borders. Tapos, nilalagyan nila ng kulay. Ayan. Tapos, sasabihin nila magaling na silang mag-excel. Okay? So, hindi siya ganun. This is not considered an Excel table. And then, let's say, mag-add sila ng panibagong data dito. Let's say, revenue, tapos month, year. So, gagawin nila, ipo-format na naman nila. So, maglalagay na naman sila ng borders. Okay? So, buti nga yung column, medyo nag-format na siya mag-isa. Okay? Yung iba naman, what they would normally do is they will copy this. So, select mo siya, format painter, tapos if a format painter nila yan. Okay? Para makapi yung formatting. Yung iba naman, what if you have additional data dito? So, nag-enter ka ng panibagong data. So, kada enter mo ng data, ulit-ulit yung formatting mo. Okay? So, yan. Which is not good kasi... Um, nagiging redundant yung mga actions mo. And then, hindi na siya masyadong... And then, it's like you're consuming a lot of time in updating your template. Okay? So, old school na yan. Old method na yan in maintaining a database. And you're not supposed to spend a lot of time in formatting your tables. Okay? So, let's go to our actual data here. And I have, like, from column A to column Q. And this format is called a tabular format. Okay, this is a pivot-ready report. And this is an actual database. Okay, this is a database and it's not yet a report. Alright, yung iba kasi na pag may mix up nila, yung dapat na database ang ginagawa nila, ginagawa nilang report. So, ang ginagawa nila is, let's say they have this report right here. So, alisin muna natin to. Alright. Click, delete. Okay? So, let's say meron silang report na ganyan. Tapos, they have another data. Let's say, copy natin. Ayan. Let's say, ito, January data yan. And then, ito, February data naman. Okay? Hanggang sa gumawa sila ng 12 na sheets to cover hanggang December. So, that's not good. You have to... um. Combine everything sa isang sheet lang and then just manipulate your raw data, which is I'm going to demonstrate later on. So let's delete the sheet. Okay. Right click. Alright. So this is your database and what I'm going to do is I'll just place my cursor inside my table. And if you're using Excel 2016 and above, um, you just have to click insert. And then click table command. Alright? So automatically, if your cursor is inside your table, nakikita na kaagad ng um, dialog box na to. Okay? Kung ilan yung rows mo. So if we're going to scroll down to check, ilan bang rows meron tayo? You have 576. Itong nasa pinakababa. Okay? And then, since we have headers naman, it's good na you have to check this one. Okay? Kasi you have headers which is represented by row 1. Itong nasa pinakataas. Okay? Your title headers are descriptive kung ano yung laman ng table mo. Okay? So, kailangan nagmamatcha. Pag sinabing date, kailangan date talaga yung laman ng data. And that's another tip for database management. So, we're good to go. So, we're gonna click OK. Alright? So, nakata mo na nagbago yung format. So, yun lang ba ang purpose ng pag -i insert natin ng table? So, what you did is actually activating the Excel table features ni Microsoft Excel. And then, there's a lot of um, 
features pa na pwede mong i-explore by doing that. So, if you go back to insert table, naka-deactivate na siya kasi naka-excel table na tong data mo. Automatically, nakita mo na meron siyang auto-fit sa bandang taas. So, um, another feature lang din yon. Pero ako, when I'm doing some spreadsheets, medyo no OC ako seeing the grid lines. So, what I do is I click view and then uncheck the grid lines. Okay? So, now you have your Excel table. So, ang mangyayari, you will have another tab here, another ribbon, okay? So, which is the design tab. If my cursor is here, nasa labas ako ng table, okay, you will not see the design tab here, okay? Kasi baka magpanik kayo, nasaan yung design? Hindi nyo siya mahanap, okay? So, make sure you are always conscious kung nasaan yung cursor ninyo. Kasi, um, when I was conducting training sa classroom before or sa mga workshop, kadalasan they will always tell me na, Coach, hindi ko makita. Ma'am, hindi ko mahanap yung ribbon. Okay? Kasi hindi nila tinitingnan. Nasaan ba yung cursor nila? Hindi nila alam na nasa labas pala or iba yung nakaklik. Okay? Remember that your actions will always depend kung saan ang cursor mo or kung ano ang current selection mo. Okay? So, to... See, the design tab here, you have to click your table. You don't have to highlight it. Okay? Okay lang kahit na-click lang sa loob. You will see design here. And you can easily format your table. You have some light shades. You have some medium color and dark shades. Okay? So, what I normally use is this one. Okay? But for the sake of training, I'll use this one. Kasi there is another feature that I would like to demonstrate. So, let's click dark blue. Alright? So, again, please do not spend a lot of time in formatting your report. Use the table styles. Okay? And so, you have your header and if you deactivate that, you will not see your header. Okay? And I don't see any reason kung bakit hindi mo gusto makita yung header mo. So, that's very important. So, you can always enable this one. And then, banded rows is yung alternating colors or what I call zebra lines, okay? So, if hindi siya okay sa paningin mo, you can disable that, okay? Alright, next is for the first column. Alright, so makikita mo lang siya because you have to move sa part na to. First column, alright? So, dun siya sa unang-una. And then, you have to scroll sa bandang right para makita mo naman yung effect ng last column. Okay? Basically, hina-highlight niya lang ng mas darker. That is if it's very important. Okay? Yung last part ng table mo. So, madalang lang naman siya gamitin. Base experience ko. And banded columns. Ayan yung effect niya. So, alternating lines naman na vertical. And the filter button, you can disable it here. Okay? Kung hindi mo naman siya kailangan. Alright, so again, you can select your table styles and you can use table style options. Okay, this is your table 1. Paano mo malalaman kung ano ang pangalan ng table mo? It's table 1. So, bakit kailangan merong table name? Para alam mo kung ano ang source ng mga gagawin mong report. Kasi pwede magkaroon ka ng maraming table. Pwede magkaroon ka ng maraming um, data, okay? And the table name is very important. And this is something that you can change naman na more descriptive para hindi ka malilito. Let's say you are going to handle more database, okay? Alright. So, what I'm going to do next is I'll show you another trick. So, let's say you have selected filter button here. You have activated this. So, ano bang ginagawa ng filter button na yan. So, ang ginagawa niya is, let's say you have some categories here. You can click that. Then, you can click A to Z, meaning nag-sort siya. Okay? Makikita mo na yung filter button mo dito, nagkaroon siya ng arrow pataas. It means na nakasort siya. And then, what you have to do is, you can sort Z to A. Okay? So, makikita mo naman na down arrow na yung lumabas doon sa button. Okay? 
So another option is you can uncheck select all. And if you would like to filter, let's say, blue mode, and you click OK, so lahat ng makikita mong data is blue mode lang. Alright? So hindi naman nawala yung mga rows na filter out lang sila. Alright? So let's try another one. And then you can try multiple selection. Okay. So you can click this and clear filter is to reset your filtering options. So yung filtering mo will always depend kung ano yung data mo. Let's say for the order ID, if I click this, I'll have here smallest to largest kasi mga numbers yung laman. Hindi naman siya pwedeng mag-sort ng A to Z. Okay? So smallest to largest. Ayan, so nagsusort siya. Okay? And you can have more filtering options. Let's say you would like to filter yung mga number 4 lang. Okay? You would like to filter anything that is greater than um, 10. Okay? So, lahat ng greater than 10 lang ang lalabas dyan. So, number filters like greater than or equal to 10, meaning kasama na yung 10, kasi you have a condition na greater than or equal to. Alright? So, marami pa kayong mga options na pwedeng gamitin dito. Alright? And you can also do that sa mga alphanumeric. Ang alphanumeric, yung mga letters and special symbols. So, meron kang text filter naman. So, you have equals, does not equal. Let's say anything that begins with letter S. Okay? Um, anything that contains the word Paris, for example, or item. Okay? So, depende sa inyo. May mga filtering criteria kayo. Okay? So, let's say anything that contains um, anything with IS. Ayan, so lalabas yung mga full name na merong I and S. Alright? So let's clear this one. And another feature of an Excel table is yung parang nag-freeze pane siya. Normally, yung freeze pane kasi is i-retain niya yung first row or first column ng data mo in case na mag scroll down or mag scroll ka sa bandang right, you will still see the headers. Pero, sa Excel table, you don't have to do that. Basically, ito yung freeze pane. Okay? So, sa Excel table, you have to watch carefully. Um, Itong mga A, B, C, D na to, yung column headers. So, if I scroll down, okay, nawala yung A, B, C, D. Ang nangyari is yung mga title headers ko ang lumabas. So, if I scroll up, scroll down. Ayan, okay? So, let's say nag -e encode ka sa bandang yung baba, makikita mo pa rin kung ano yung dapat mong i-encode, okay? So, nawawala yan kapag nasa labas ka ng table mo, alright? So, let's say, for example, I will be entering another data, 5576. If I press tab, okay, it will automatically format the table. So, hindi mo kailangan mag-format ulit or mag-spend na naman ng time formatting your table. So, if I enter 5577, 5578, 5579, 5580, ayan. So, in-extend niya yung table. And if I add another column here, let's say revenue, press enter, in-extend niya yung table. Okay? So, automatic. Hindi mo kailangan... So, year. So, automatic yung formatting. Hindi mo kailangan mag-spend ng time. Kakakulay. Tapos, napo-frustrate ka pa kung hindi mo magaya yung coloring na ginawa mo sa ibang columns. Okay? So, yan ang mga features ni Microsoft Excel table. And you have to utilize this going forward. So, there's going to be more discussion about Excel tables in the next topic. Thank you!